Hello again, everyone. Nice to see you. And um, it today is episode 23 of the Joy of Functional Game Dev. And in it, we uh, the uh, GitHub tag is v0.22, so it's the end of episode 22, start of episode end of episode 22, start of episode 23. As is the case, it's always the number of the episode minus one. And now let's go back over to Trello board where we have only two things left. And are we going to shoot for being done today? And and really, I may decide that the title screen as we have it is, is good enough. Um, I've already spent a little bit of time changing some code around. I, I added this. I before the code just looked like this and now um, if the argv length is 2 then it will attempt to set the user and authenticate otherwise it'll do some nothing <clears throat> is it great code? no but it, it'll it get the thing done and I think along with the game because this is going to be on game jolt I think with it I will describe uh, here's how to make a batch file to run the game so that you can have it in there or just this is how you how you run it make a link to it and and so on uh, bec because of as we discovered the uh, the difficulty with getting actual text input out of XNA but so back to the Trello board we have a title screen and options screen and let's take a look one more time at the really awful um, yeah, that's pretty bad. That is kind of awful. It is not the absolute worst thing in the world. But should we have some sort of texture somewhere? You know what? Yes, as a matter of fact, let's take let's take a let's take a screenshot somewhere in the game. We're gonna use uh, the game controller. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of the game with uh, with all the things on it. And is this gonna be super duper amazing? No. screenshot and let's go to paint.net paste it in there and ultimately let's where's my tool I want to go here I want to select dude there we go all the way down there all the way down there Seven twenty by seven twenty, and let's go over to my project. Go in here again, and let's. Uh, yeah, we're going to call it title screen. Uh, title screen. That PNG. And I suppose actually what I want to do I want to canvas size it. I want it over there. I want it the width of the screen. Of course. And let's fill with no tolerance here. And let me zoom control zero. Alright. So that's what it's going to look like. So the stuff will be over here. We'll have this here. And we're going to... We're going to call that good enough. So we're going to put that into content. We're going to add an existing item. 
content star.png bring title screen in there title screen is a content copy of newer we have to go over to assets uh, and we will call it so cleverly title screen texture and my assets here so title screen texture it's an asset texture of and it's just called of course title screen And then <coughs> we shall draw that. I'm going to borrow, not have update, I want to render. So render play state. The, I'm going to borrow you. It's going to go to the title screen. I'm going to draw this in the background. That's going to be zero, 0, That's the title screen texture. Get texture option get. So that should do the job. And let's try it. Of course. Because because it centers all the out, you know, because it centers, so 500 and 360, and now it'll, now it'll, I, that's a, I got myself last time too, because remember kids, you too can suck at game development, and constantly forget things. All right, so it's a title screen. It's a crappy title screen, but it's better than a black screen with just the text. Oh, well. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes finishing a game is has more to do with just dying a little inside. But all right, now option screen. And of course, I, I know the option screen is super awesome here. Option screen, hit A. There, there, there's some options, all right. Um, oh, of course, these things. Uh, uh huh. So A options, me going back. Oh, that's that's a thing I could I could stand to fix. I may or may not decide to do it. Um, okay, it's on the option screen, I have that, and really the only option is, um, whether or not to show sounds, or really, whether or not to play sounds. And so, the way I kind of wanted to do this, so it's in the option screen, I need, I need a new... Um, we call it game options. Game options. It's going to go all the way to the bottom, which is, of course, not where I want it to be. And I need it. In my update play state, because is that where I am? What are the I need to know. Render utility. Draw texture. Handle event. So above render utility. Okay, so. Where are you? Game options has to be above render utility. Because um, type 
game options equal so x bool. Let load game options equal there we go let private mutable equals fx equals true. Let mutable private. Why can I never remember? Game options, and that returns game options. Let save game options. Game options equal game options options. Let toggle SFX options equal options with SFX equal um, options dot SFX set to not. Yes, there's only one game option, and the idea would be have multiple of these things. So it starts out okay, it's, if, if we had music we'd have that too. If we had some other options at the moment it's just not that cool. It only has toggling this on and off. And why am I bothering with the structure? Because I feel this it, it illustrates Perhaps I would put a volume on it, and you never know. Maybe I shall, because it's we're, we're we're getting things getting things in here pretty quickly. Um, so options. So when I'm rendering my option state, let's also have um, at line sixty. Okay, let's go let um, text contents call that. I'm going to go text contents right there. I'm going to load let options equal game options load option game options if options dot um, sfx then else text contents. And I'm going to use our sequence, right? Dot append Alright. X on sixty. What's wrong with this? I was up SFX, then that, and... What are you? Your list! Okay. Does a list append? Didn't realize that's a list. Also, not six sixty. And we'll make 
So, 90. Um, see, so we'll go with go with um, space or a toggle us effect. And since that one's green, we'll make that. light green okay well, so is there a light red go with light pink all right so <coughs> space a should so I should see initially that it says it's on So now I go over here. Okay, cool. Sound effects are on. And next, the update option state. So I think the update the state option state. Go to, def go to definition. Give me of keyboard state gamepad state. All right, <clears throat> this is going to fail, and and this is really what should be happening in most of these other states. Board state already has it in here. Okay, so option state. Okay, uh, G, okay, G, okay, so, actually it doesn't, doesn't matter, we care not, we care during, during the update, okay, G, Delta, updating the option state keyboard state gamepad state what game uh, it's going to be actually it's the old keyboard state old gamepad state. Pad get state. It's really this. We're going to do returns the new one. And this one is if or that. So we have old keyboard state dot um put it in here. So keyboard state. Keyboard state an old gamepad state is gamepad state old keyboard state dot is key up keys dot space and keyboard State that is key down, keys dot space. Okay. 
or old gamepad state dot his button uh, button up tons dot a and old and game pad state button down buttons a then lf <clears throat> oh we need uh, b uh, or escape for these so we got b Escape. I think actually it's the back button, right? All right. So this, in this case, I want to. Hold. Okay, we'll open it. Open game options. Load game options. Um, what was it called? Right over here. Where are you? Where are you? It's toggle SFX. And it makes it unit, and then I send over to the option state. So wonder if that'll work, or I wonder if I still have some option screen stuff that build errors. I was expected to have type, uh, and yeah, 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 uh, keyboard, key, keyboard state, gamepad state, you gonna work, you're gonna work. Go to the option screen. I should be able to turn it off and on, and I can. Okay, yay for me. Is escape or B? Back button works. Alright, I will make it. You know what? We'll make it back or B. I'll just make it B. I think I, didn't I make a... So, get input state, but does... Get keyboard presses. It on, it's only taking into account these things, although it would probably... I'm going to leave it. It would probably... It, it would, only works with certain key presses, and while it would make it a little shorter, I should really reuse the thing. I really should. Well, and also, that input state was really needed for the board state, so it's okay for me to handle it this way. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, but now, under render utility, when I oh we still have these get your own sound effects notes so I'm going to go load game options load game options it 
doesn't so dot How are we going to go okay, X? All right. It's going to be a bizarre. <laughs> are on pick up the dollar or then then make the sounds otherwise do some nothing uh, and putting putting it in the match I could have done an if that surrounds the match by this um, I've seen this a couple times and I think it is uh, more idiomatic I think And let's see. Let's see if it works. We're going to see what happens. We're going to go to options. We're going to turn it off. We're going to go back. Go back to options. Still off. We're, we got to fix that. That's, that must be fixed. Okay, so now start and nothing. We are silent. Make sure that it still indeed does work. We'll start the game, and it should go ding, and it does. So, we're cool here. We've got our options. Let's see, and now I, what I don't know is sound effect. Is there a? Let's look up uh, X and A sound effect. I don't know how to set volume on things. What can we do? Looping sound, adjusting the pitch and volume. Thanks. Documentation on the MSDN. I don't want... Okay, so change to adjust the pitch and volume. Playing sound. What? Sound instance is create an instance. So, do I? I don't think I have a sound effect instance, do I? Sound effect, but create instance. Huh. I am not. I am not using those. I'm just using the sound effect to play it. Sound effect play allows you to specify. Well, what? Do you call play? <coughs> so let's look at this function. Can I? Sound effect play. Well, what are these? Okay, so there's that one. Pitch and panning. Volume. Okay. When I play it, I can I can put the volume normal. So I would go from zero to one. Um, so I could I could put volume in here if I wanted. I don't think it's really necessary in this game, but I could put the volume in there. Well, let's let's hop down this bunny trail and see see what can be seen. Well, I would have and the volume. So the volume. Okay, let's let's make the magic happen. 
under game options, let's go volume, float, and we're going to go volume, point zero. I'll let, and the only thing, we're going we're gonna to have a, an increased volume and a decreased volume, so we're going to pick a couple of buttons. We're going to pick X and Y on the gamepad. And we're going to pick the period and comma. Because, well, no, we'll pick the arrow keys. So let increase volume options equal and we're going to go options with volume equal if options dot volume equal to 0 0.9 then 1.0 else options dot volume plus 0 0.1 and why do I do it this way let me, let me tell you it's I'm I'm making an assumption about how well e, even F sharp can deal with floating point numbers, and it's re it's really a .NET. It's me. I'm relying on on .NET. Then 0, 0.0. Uh, that I can't just add. 0 0.1 and have it actually turn out to be 1.0 at any point. It, it will be off by something by the time I get all the way up there and so I want to clamp it anytime it's greater than 0 0.9 then add then make it 1 otherwise the volume is um, plus 0 0.1 and that's the same thing here to go down if I'm less than 0 0.1 then make it 0, 0.0 otherwise do that so we do want to render the option state and well we always do want we're going to need the game options here have to have that be here so that's on 90, so I want to go to 150 for the next line. So it's going to be volume, percent, is it percent F? So S printf volume F with options dot volume uh, we're not going to call that green, we're just going to um, make it white so and then uh, we need a 180 and 210 180 210 left arrow or X decrease volume not as printing anything and that's blue UE Similar thing over here. So arrow and Y increase volume. That's not white, that is yellow. Let's see if we are showing all of this correctly. 
before we go ahead and, uh, and put the control in. So am I rendering it right? One point, okay, that's cool. Um, all right, and we will, in the update options state, One, two, LF, LF. This one will be dot left. This one's dot right. That's X and Y. Oh, nope, it's both X. That one's Y. One down here is Y. Okay, and... It's cheap and sleazy, so we're going to increase... No, it's decrease volume. Decrease volume. And increase volume here. Then of course, when playing the sound in render utility, let game options, let game options dot load game options. That's going to be game options dot sfx. It's going to be this dot volume. And both of those are 0 0.0, 0, 0, 0.0. What's the problem with it? It's a float 32, but it's a float. <sighs> Let me tell you how much I love having to do this all over the place. Is there a better way to do it? Oh. Okay, and now should we actually even completely work? Okay, so first, first let's make sure. Ding, ding. All right. Next, let's build it. Go to options. Of course, now it's it's totally fine. It works. Okay, so let's let's put it at five and go back. Go. Really must fix that. And is it seems not easily being able to listen to the two things? I'm going to what I'm going to do here. I'm going to bring it down pretty far. If I can just barely hear it, then, yep, okay, volume works. Neat. And again, this was this would be a good candidate for refactor. It really would. Especially, look at that car. Look at this junk. Look at that. Ugh. Long lines of code, identical in as the stuff before. Alright. So, we can go on over to our Trello board and say we did it. So, we are at feature complete for this game. And that's a, well, feature complete, but we, we could certainly use some uh, polish and going through um, but I'm going to reserve that for next episode where we're going to go in and we're going to, going to take a look at the various problems that this has, like, like the weird input problem, and we're going to fix them. And thanks for...
coming on this journey with me. We're almost to the end. One, maybe two more episodes, and we'll be done with this here project, which works out because we're at the end of the month, and we need to when we need to ship. So thanks for thanks for coming along with me. I hope you have enjoyed this journey. We've got a little bit more to do, but this is this is this right here is is quite an accomplishment. So I will see you next time.